Bitcoin touching a record earlier this week. You can see back above 72,000. Now the currency hovering at that milestone level. So what's ahead? We want to bring in Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery for a closer look that of what we are looking at this morning. Jared, there is a decent amount of green on your screen there. Yes, there is. And Ethereum, okay, it's down about one third of a percent. Let me just point out the number holding above 4,000. And if I put a five year chart on, that's what you got to take a look at. More like a three to five year chart. So you can see those highs that we had in 2021. It is marching right back in there. And it's not just Bitcoin. It's not Ethereum. Let me show a Bitcoin chart real quickly, you can see Bitcoin having eclipsed those highs looks a little bit different than Ethereum. But we've also seen some other tokens, some other the altcoins come back. Here's Ripple up 12 percent, 13 percent over the last 24 hours. Let me show you a two month chart because it had a big up day yesterday. You can see it's up about 23 percent over the last two months. So lagging Bitcoin, lagging Ethereum. But that's a that's a trend that I've seen. A lot of these smaller tokens like Litecoin. Well, besides yesterday, when's the last time I said Litecoin? It's been forever. Uh, that had a huge day. That's now catching up, up 34% over the last two months. And we've also seen some action in the stock, but there have been winners and there have been losers. In fact, let me show you a one month uh, chart. We got MicroStrategy. Okay, that's doing very well. That's up over 100%. They have doubled their price. Coinbase up 70%. Robinhood uh, up a very respectable 37%. But you can see a lot of losers down here. Riot Blockchain down 28%, back down 41%. So it's a game of have and have have nots. Also in the ETF space where we had all these spot Bitcoins ETF rushing to market. Guess what? Two of the Bitcoin funds that just launched in January have some of the highest flows that we've seen all year. And that's considering the entire universe of US ETFs. So you have an, two S&P 500 ETFs grabbing the top spots. That's VOO, IVV, that's a BlackRock and Vanguard offering. Then we have iShares, uh, their Bitcoin offering. Then we have Fidelity. So that's 10 and $6.2 billion in flows already this year. So this is just a very fast growing asset class. I would write, remind people GLD, the gold ETF launched in 2004, very fortuitous timing, echoes of that right here with Bitcoin.